first indoor baptism in our church ever. We've had one parking lot baptism, and every other baptism has been at the beach. But we have changed some things for sake of time because of having services in Miami Beach. So, I want to get Timothy. Are you ready to get baptized? You dressed in what you're wearing. Is that what you're wearing? Okay. Do you need a change? Okay. Yeah, he's changing right now. Take the car out of your pocket. Tie off. <laughs> Last week after the service, Timothy said, Pastor, you didn't baptize me today. I said, would you come ready? And he looks at me like, uh. <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. I'm ready to go. Come on up here, buddy. Come on up. Oh, you got to get your socks? Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Come on up. And uh, why don't you stand right here and we'll have a quick conversation. Okay, right here. Turn around and face everybody, if you will, please. Now, this is uh, Timothy Robertson Riffle. And uh, Timothy, you, have you trusted Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Yeah, when was that? You don't have to know the date, but tell us when that happened. Where were you at? On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Was it at church? No. It was at home? No. Okay, trusted Jesus as a Savior. And you know that being baptized today, this isn't this doesn't save you, right? You understand that baptism is a picture of what Jesus did when He died for your sin, was buried, and rose again. And you want to follow and believe His baptism today? Okay. Well, it's very simple. There's nothing complicated about baptism. Matter of fact, it's so simple that in the New Testament church, one of the first things that we saw every time somebody got saved is they got baptized. In Acts chapter 8, uh, Philip had been used by God to give the gospel to a man from Ethiopia that traveled all the way to Jerusalem for the feast and the Passover. Or for, I'm sorry, for a feast. And he had left Jerusalem. He was reading Isaiah 53, actually. And the Holy Spirit led Philip to go and join to the chariot. And he asked the man, you understand what you read? And the man said, how can I except some man should guide me? And they read it. And the Ethiopian asked the question about the things that were prophesied about Jesus. Did, did the prophet say this about himself or about some other man? And Philip opened his mouth, the Bible says, and explained to him the Scriptures, expounding him the Scriptures. They were going along in the outside of Gaza and there was a place where there was water and the Ethiopian said to Philip, he said, see, here's water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? See, baptism is a picture of the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus, but it's an identification. It's really an open declaration that I'm going to follow Jesus. I'm going to live for Jesus with my life and I just want everybody to know it. So it's an open declaration. It's an important decision in a person's life. And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that qualified him for baptism. Now, baptism is not something that is done to you without your decision or your choice. Baptism is something you make a decision to do following your faith or your belief in Jesus. And that's what we're doing here today, just so everybody understands it. This is a great example. If you're here today and you say, well, I've never done that, well, this maybe will uh, bring up some questions for you. It's an important testimony as well to people that you know, to let them know that you have received Jesus as your Savior. So we're going to get in the water, hopefully, without too much of... Uh, <laughs> without it being too cold. I'm a little afraid of this right now. But we'll get in and, and uh, we'll it'll just take a second. You ready, Timothy? I know everybody else wants to be in here right now. <laughs> We're going to have a, 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 a diving contest this evening. <laughs> so, uh, All right. I want, why don't you take my hand? I'll let you down here. Okay, give you a. Now that's cold, isn't it? Okay. Come on down, buddy. I've got to hold you. You want to stand there for a second and get used to it? Okay. Now here's what we're going to do when he actually gets baptized. He's going to go all the way under the water. So I want you to take your uh, fingers and hold your nose. Hold your nose closed. Keep your mouth closed. And what I'm going to do is... Here, I'm going to put my hand here and you grab a hold of my wrist, okay? Hold on to my wrist. And when, uh, when I baptize you, go down. I'll pull you right back up, okay? Timothy Robertson... Upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus, I now baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Him in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. All right, good work Timothy doesn't swim. 
<laughs> so that takes a lot of bravery right there oh. to go underwater like that. So. All right. All right. Congratulations. Perfect. All right. You're dismissed. <laughs>